on capital, on wealth, is not the best for each person in the world. So you would want to live in a communal society, essentially, right? So why don't you go live like the Amish right now and go do it because they live in a communal society? That's not, that's not the point. No, the, the point, point is, is not you're move. advocating for a governmental worldview. I'm never going to tell you how to live your life. Not, why are I, you telling I'm me not, how to live mine? I'm not arguing for a governmental You're, you're like world. arguing for a lack there of one, which is one. No. Then why the don't you go live like an anarchist anti-state. off the grid? Why are you telling me how to live that's my life? That's not off the grid. Anarchism isn't off the grid. Well, why don't you go live like an anarchist right now? Well, I'm, that's what I'm doing. With, I'm living by anarchist principles within a capitalist society, which means I'm fighting you, for anarchist principles. So you're cool a with a capitalist society because I'm allowing you to live like an anarchist. No. So, but, but then, hold on. So why do you want to tell me how to live? I'm not telling life? you how to live. Are you, so you're, you're okay You're telling with, me how to live. I'm not telling you how okay to live. You're okay with me to have three houses and six yachts? I don't think that's very cool, but... Not cool, but you want to take them away from me? No, I didn't say that. So you'd be okay with me having a billion dollars? No. So you're okay with... So then what's wrong with the current system we live in again? It is not based on the best outcome for each person. It's based on the wealthy getting wealth off of making the poorer poor. Just because someone gets rich doesn't mean someone gets poor. Yes, it does. Explain that, that to me. In this society, it does. Explain that to me. When when you bought, when you bought your hat, who got poor? Um, the people who made the hat. What, they voluntarily contributed their labor no, they and they not. got paid for it. No, they did not. They didn't? There's workers in other countries who are enslaved to make things that I'm wearing right now. So then why would you buy it? Wearing. Because there's no other options in our capitalist country. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook triggers BLM clad white labor. Okay, according to Charlie Cook, we could love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. Life expectancy has increased over time, which we would expect. Um, but for one group, since 2000s, up until now, life expectancy has actually decreased. This is middle-aged white men. Um, the reason for this is actually mostly self-induced. Sure, so life expectancy has nearly doubled since 1900. No, I'm and, talking and, about specifically right. for white so, men since 2000s correct. So who are middle-aged. Correct, so if you let me finish a sentence without getting six words into it, I let you talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. Um, the byproduct of why white men are having lower life expectancy since 2000 is self-induced. Can you slow down? I'm sorry, it's a- Am I talking too fast for you? Just a, yes, oh, okay. you are, actually. Okay, um, then I'll slow down. Um, it is Can self-induced. You guys um, meaning they are making bad choices. So America is a wonderful country because if you make good choices, you get rewarded, and if you make bad choices, you have bad mm-hmm. things happen to you. So let me ask you a question. What is the primary cause of death for middle-aged white men? No, so my question... No, no, I answer ju- the I question a- because you're a subject matter expert on this. I know, that's what I was going to say. Can you clarify, you said the reason that white... They're this making is this issue bad choices. ...is that they are making bad choices. Yeah, choices. so what is the this primary... This is the entire population of middle-aged white right, men. Right, so if you can answer my question, since you're a subject matter expert on it, what is the primary cause of death for middle-aged white men? Cancer or heart, heart disease. disease. Mm-hmm. What is the or number... Or heart disease. What, Everyone heard yes, you say Yes, what is the number one reason for heart disease? Okay, so let's move along from that. So, so are facts something you don't want to talk about tonight, I am talking or? about facts, and what I was asking you is I, life expectancy for middle-aged men has decreased since 2000. This is a fact. This of is heart disease, no, which is a no, byproduct. No, 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 I just said this study showed the reason life expectancy has decreased is attributed to, I agreed with you, those are the main causes of death, but the reason that life expectancy has decreased since 2000 is because of self-induced harm. And all I was saying is you, you made a claim that life expectancy has increased. It hasn't. And Since for this group, that is mainly the was, demographic life, that is interested in you. What was life expectancy you. in 1900? What did you say? I'm sorry. What was life expectancy in 1900? Much lower. So it's increased years. exponentially over time. It has that for every my group. Point. But then in 2000, there was a change. In 2000, there was a change. Right. And it for men, they started to it decrease. It was a byproduct of surpluses and having food everywhere at all times. It has nothing to do with obesity. These are... this. This is self-induced harm that is causing uh, again, this. Again, so let's, let's, let's walk through this. What is the number one cause of death for middle-aged white men? That's not what I'm talking about. So I have another thing heart to say. Heart disease. What is the number one precursor for heart disease? So I think I've, we've both made whatever point we wanted to make. So can I ask I, I'm, a, I'm can I ask a second question? I'm still trying to figure out yours, but yes, please That's do. That's okay. Um, so my second question and is... And I would like you, to get to your shirt at some point too, but go ahead. Yeah, it's a Black Lives Matter shirt. I feel like we are unable to have any sort of actual conversation, well, be, which is not what I came here y- thinking. You are entitled to your own opinion. You are not entitled to your own facts. You're, these are not my own facts. I could provide studies and opinion. citations for everything I've then, said then, tonight. Then I haven't do. heard you do that. We, we, I mean, everything. You can, you can easily reference you everything. You said things Hoover that Institute. I know are factually wrong. 
This is Name coming one. from research. Name one. That life expectancy has increased for every group in America. Since 1900, which is what I said. Well, since 2000, it has not increased because for white men. Because they're making bad choices. Heart disease is the number one killer of middle-aged white men. What causes heart disease? Overeating, sedentary lifestyle, mm. not working out, indulging in alcohol, and drugs too much, which is a byproduct of our amazingly, of amazing surpluses made possible by the free market system. You know what the number one cause of death in Venezuela is? Starvation. I would rather have a culture where we're trying to have people join gym memberships in a New Year resolution, not eat zoo animals. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for the I, conversation. I'd like, to, I'd like to talk about your shirt, though. What? I would not like to talk about that. Okay, well, the fact that the entire Black Lives Matter movement is built on factually incorrect and an identity politics to try to separate America, would love to have a conversation about it, but it's good because your friend's wearing the same shirt, so we could talk about that. So. <laughs> Thank you for being here tonight. I mean that sincerely, but go ahead. What? Do you think socialism is? Because I think you're misunderstood. Um, socialism is what I see, which is the implementation of totalitarian control on the means of the best interest of people under the guise of the failed doctrine of Marx and Engels. That's wrong. Um, just because you say it wrong doesn't make you right. Just because you say I'm wrong doesn't make you right. No, it actually does, because everywhere socialism, socialism has been implemented, you've um, seen catastrophic human deaths. I'll let, um, you know, so, I'll let you know what socialism is. Well, what makes you a subject matter expert on the 100 million people that have died Are you over, a subject matter expert on that? I actually am. Are you? Yes. Do you have a degree in it? Um, just because you have a degree doesn't mean you know more than other people. Do you do research on it? Plenty. More than you. Do you? Yeah, let's talk about it. Socialism and communism, because I can name okay. all 75 failed socialism? Marxist examples on five continents over the last 100 years. I think you're misunderstood as to what Marxism is. So give me one example of where Marxism has been implemented socialism successfully. Socialism is uh, worker control, not government. Okay, so give me one example of where that exists. Um, it doesn't exist right now. R no, you're, you're wrong, actually, because in America, over 4 million people work in employee-owned companies. So the very yeah, model that's that not, you... That's not a... That's not a um, they country? own the means of production. Yes, no, that's they not own a the country company. based on socialist principles. No, you're right. It's actually a free that's market a country that allows your worldview to be implemented successfully and peacefully. So Publix, the largest grocery store in America, is employee owned. Every yeah, that, that's not socialism. But you just said it's workers owning the means of production. Yeah, in a in an entire. So you want to force that upon someone else? No, correct? I don't. So, so what if I'm I actually an anarchist? Not so, so let's let's talk about this. <laughs> Let's talk about it, though. So, oh, it's okay. It's okay. She came here tonight. It's fine. So let let. Capitalism if, is antagonistic to anarchism, by the is way. Is anti so what? Is antagonistic. Can you hear me? Antagonistic to hmm. anarchism. So, but so you're an anarchist that is saying good things about socialist socialism. Yeah, because I believe in the communal uh, ability of people cool. to work together to um, come to the best. Um, so you have a lot of problems with the current system, right? Uh, basing an entire economic system on capital, on wealth, is not the best for each person in the world. So you would want to live in a communal society, essentially, right? So why don't you go live like the Amish right now and go do it, because they live in a communal society? That's not, that's not the point. No, the, the point, point is, is you, you're move. advocating for a governmental worldview. I'm never going to tell you how to live your I'm life. Not, why are I, you telling I'm me not, how to live mine? I'm not arguing for a governmental You're, you're like arguing for a lack there of one, which is one. No. Then why don't you go live like an anti anarchist off the grid? Why are you telling me how to live? That's my not life? off the grid. Anarchism isn't off the grid. Well, why don't you go live like an anarchist right now? Well, I'm. That's what I'm doing. With, I'm living by anarchist principles within a capitalist society, which means I'm fighting so you, for anarchist principles. So you're cool a with a capitalist society because I'm allowing you to live like an anarchist. Ooh. No. But but then hold on. So why do you want to tell me how to live? I'm not telling life? you how to live. Dad. Are you? So you're, you're okay? You're telling with, me how to live. I'm not telling you. You're how to okay live. with me to have three houses and six yachts? I don't think that's very cool, but... Not cool, but you want to take them away from me? No, I didn't say that. So you'd be okay with me having a billion dollars? No. So you're okay with... So then what's wrong with the current system we live in again? It is not based on the best outcome for each person. It's based on the wealthy getting wealth off of making the poorer poor. Just because someone gets rich doesn't mean someone gets poor. Yes, it does. Explain in that to me. In this society, it does. Explain that to me. So when, you bought, when you richer, bought your hat, who got poor? <laughs> Um, the people who made the hat. What, they voluntarily contributed their labor no, they and they not. got paid for it. No, they did not. They didn't? There's workers in other countries who are enslaved to make things that I'm wearing right now. So then why would you buy it? Wearing. 
because there's no other options in our capitalist country. There are no other options in our capitalist that's, that's, country. That's totally and factually incorrect. Make your own clothes. Simple. There aren't very many options for that. Well, so what you're trying to say is you outsource your goods and services in a capital voluntary because you don't you, do you don't want to okay spend the time to go make slaves? your own clothes. Do you think no, what I'm okay trying to say is you're making the argument for you. I don't make my own clothes because I'm happy no, that someone in Southeast Asia clothes. gets a job so that I don't have to go make my own clothes. I'm actually really happy factories? about that. Restate your question. Nice. Restate the question. They burn alive in factories for making your clothes. I'm really happy that Southeast Asia is experiencing an economic renaissance, so I don't have to go make my own clothes. In fact, some of these clothes so are made in Italy because they're quite so expensive. So you're happy that people burn alive in factories to, so you can buy your clothes for cheaper? I think that's a wonderful thing. So, okay, you're happy that people burn alive in factories. That's what you just said. Thank you. Thank you for your feeling-induced emotional argument, and henceforth, we prove it again. So the first lady who came here, the first lady who was wearing the Black Lives Matter shirt, she was talking about the primary cause of death of middle-aged white men. We all know his heart disease. Like, we all know that. What caused it? Is the drinking alcohol food? What they take in that caused the, the death? So I don't know what her argument was basically all about. And I love how Charlie handled her very, very, very well. She was just trying to get on Charlie nerves. And Charlie was really clever to, to turn the question around towards her. <laughs> so she feel like Charlie's against her. Uh, because she's, she's like attacking herself. She's made some research about the primary cause of middle-aged white men. And she knows he's, that the primary cause is heart disease. But she said there's something that was starting it up. What is, the, what is causing it? It's heart disease. What, is, what leads to the heart disease? That's what Charlie is trying to tell her. What leads to the heart disease? It's what they intake, what they smoke, what they drink. Exactly. In the 19th centuries or even in the 18th centuries, it was not heart disease. But right now, the, the rate that these people are taking drugs, smoking, drinking, it's really, really high. It's really high. Then the second lady who came over here and started talking about socialism <laughs> and capitalism, I love how Charlie handled her. It was like, why are you wearing? <laughs> if you believe so much about the socialism, why are you wearing a hat? Why are you wearing a clothes? Why are you living in a capitalist environment, in a capitalist world, in a capitalist country? She said she's practicing it, the socialism, but she's living in the, <laughs> the capitalism. Go live somewhere else. Go and live in Venezuela. You practice your, your main aim more better over there. And you should not even be wearing clothes that has been made in the Eastern Asia. You should be making your own clothes yourself. She says she's forced to wear it. No one forced you. You can make your own clothes yourself. Whenever I see people talk about this anarchy and socialism, I feel like somehow they are hypocrites. I, I don't know. When you talk about the um, anarchy, like I feel like if you want to process it much better, go live somewhere where you have your community of people who are practicing it. But don't carry your anarchy, socialism, so far to a capitalist country, to a capitalist place, community, and start telling people how to live their lives that because you, you feel like everybody should be equal, people should not be a millionaire, people should not have five houses or six yards. It's not fair to other people. Perf, they work hard for it. They, they wasn't given to, it wasn't given to them at the plot of good. People work really hard to get, to acquire such. So you telling them that, no, it's not fair. Everybody has to be equal. We have to, we have to be a socialist country. We have to have that anarchy. How dare you come and tell me that? Like, it really doesn't make any sense. Because, because someone is getting richer doesn't mean another person is getting poorer. Her point right here makes no sense. She's trying to fight for something she she's not practicing. I will use that word. Because if you're practicing your anarchy or socialism, you shouldn't be in a capitalist environment. This was really amazing to watch. I love how the entire conversation went ahead. It's just that the two ladies who came here like when the Black Lives Matter they got triggered and they were not prepared. But the entire video was amazing. I would love how Charlie handled them and I enjoyed watching this. <laughs> this was this was brutal. 
totally dismantled those white laborers. Like he dismantled them totally. He triggered them really well. This was amazing. Comment down below. Think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all